Flights to Catania International Airport, Sicily, were disrupted again over the weekend after Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology reported lava fountains erupting from Mount Etna on Sunday morning, August 4. The airport suspended all flights after the eruption spewed volcanic ash over the runway. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology reported that the eruption has sent lava flows from the volcano, accompanied by an ash cloud reaching up to 10 kilometers (18.6 miles) high and drifting southeast. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has issued a code red warning to aircraft flying in the vicinity. The ash cloud has caused significant flight disruptions at Catania Fontana Rosa Airport. Clouds of ash and smoke from one of the world's most active volcanoes halted flights at Catania Airport for much of the day. The restrictions were lifted in the afternoon but the airport warned of continued delays and cancellations as a result of the earlier restrictions. Millions of passengers pass through Catania Airport every year, which serves eastern Sicily with tourist destinations such as Syracuse and Tormina. Etna has been experiencing intense activity in recent weeks, spewing hot ash and lava on several occasions since early July. Although normal services have now theoretically resumed, some departures and arrivals are showing delays and passengers are advised to continue checking the latest information from the airport and airlines as the situation can change suddenly. Etna Volcano is Sicily's most active volcano, with three main craters forming its summit, the Voragine Crater, the Northeast Crater and the Southeast Crater, but also several other new craters. The mountain has been experiencing a period of high activity for the past five years, with frequent eruptions. Despite representing what scientists at the National Institute called in a 2021 paper a serious threat to communities living in the vicinity, producing a range of harmful impacts on residents, property and communication lines, no lava has affected nearby urban areas since the 19th century. The institute noted that the volcano's active status is an ideal laboratory for improving volcano monitoring and forecasting eruption events. However, with the latest eruption of the Voragine Crater, nearby towns have been showered with black volcanic ash and ash-filled smoke clouds have risen several kilometers into the sky. As a result, several flights, including from Warsaw and Copenhagen, have been cancelled amid restrictions on incoming flights. Flights to the East Coast Airport have been limited to six per hour and a section of the facility has been closed. This has meant disruption and delays of up to three hours for some travelers and other arrivals with some flights being diverted to land at Sicily's alternative airports, Palermo and Comiso. While there are car rental services at all major airports and bus or train routes for domestic travel, rerouting may still require some lengthy detours across the Mediterranean's largest island for passengers to reach their final destinations.
It takes around 8 hours to cross the island by land. Passengers experiencing disruptions are advised to contact their airline to check what services are provided. If you have taken out travel insurance, verify the terms and conditions of your policy. Airport authorities have announced a reduction in the number of incoming flights to six per hour and a partial closure of airport facilities. Due to the ongoing volcanic activity, operations at Catania Fontanarosa Airport have been severely affected. 